cabbage is one of those ingredients that we love at our house, but we just don't eat it very often. And you know, when you think of cabbage, a lot of times you'll think of coleslaw, and sometimes I like to grate it into a green salad, but typically it's one of those things I don't often pick up at the grocery store. Well, I did make cocannon potatoes over the weekend, and I had half a head of cabbage left. So I'm gonna show you a really quick and easy, it takes about five minutes to make this quick and easy cabbage stir fry. So I have my ingredients measured out, and I've heated up about a tablespoon of coconut oil, I like coconut oil because it can really take high heat. And with stir fry, you want to have your heat turned up pretty high. When the oil is nice and hot, you can add some cumin seeds, some brown mustard seeds, and then I have some fenugreek seeds. Fenugreek is used a lot in Indian cooking, but no worries if you don't have it. It's typically found in an Indian market. You can also use just some fennel seeds instead of the fenugreek, and that's really tasty too. Fenugreek is a pretty bitter seed, but it really, gets a lot milder when you cook it. So I've got that, and as soon as these seeds start, start to sizzle and pop, I'm going to add my cabbage and some seasonings. I've got some turmeric powder. Turmeric is a little bit like nature's natural pain reliever. And now I'm adding the cabbage. And you can see that I've sliced it really, really thin. And you wanna use a nice deep pan. You could also use a wok if you have a wok. Just put it in. Give it a nice little stir. After cooking the cabbage for just a minute or two, add some coconut. I use unsweetened coconut and it's grated, so it's pretty fine. Just stir that in. And I like to add a little bit of curry powder too. And that is pretty optional. Just a little bit for some of that extra flavor that curry powder brings, that nice rich aroma and flavor. And basically, you just wanna cook the cabbage until it's a little bit wilted. It'll be soft, but it'll still be crunchy when you eat it. Right at the end, I like to add a little bit of salt. And that's all there is to it. If you like a little bit of heat, don't be afraid to sprinkle on a little bit of crushed red pepper flakes, and that really kind of jazzes it up a little bit. So there you are, stir-fried cabbage. It's a great way to use that brain food. I'm Sue Doden, sharing good food for Good Life 365.